Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And this episode, actually, as if you can see in the uh, intro, I did some crafting and I did some adventuring. Yeah, we killed Mi Minoshroom. Yeah. Then Hydra, and then. Uh, Phantom Knight. We didn't kill Urgas and we didn't kill Yeti. Yet. And other than that, also, I never killed Snow Queen in my life at all. Actually, I never killed Yeti too. Come to think of it. Anyway, uh, if we're going all magic again. I also need to show you for a few things. I also made a bewitch drop and leggings for extra risk discount and uh, to make this we need made spinning wheel. And also a few more primal shrooms. Other than that, we are we are all good. I crafted some stuff. Yeah. Uh we need to continue with our not so magical journey and what is it? It's clean room. Yeah. We're going to make a clean room, guys. And it's going to be great. Uh, okay, what is clean room? Clean room is actually something that needed in the Great Tech New Horizons. Actually, yeah, I, I think later Great Tech versions too uh, that you need to do to continue with your process because after uh, the basic the first HV circuits all circuits you need to make and a lot of components you need to make requires clean room and the clean room is kind of sort of essential for that so yeah the clean room is that a clean room uh void of any pollution and thingy my jiggy and we need to make one to make better circuits and for that we require these guys each black steel frame box it took a while. Polyethylene pile, a pulp, it's easy. And wet concrete, it's the cheapest one. Yeah, and I can remove those guys. By the way, I suggest you to... Ah, this is all already... Also, the top blocks need to be filter machine casing. And I really suggest you to use assembler. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, one less steel bar and one less item filter. Steel bar is relatively cheap, but item filter is not that cheap at this age. So, yeah, the one less item filter is quite important. Uh, also, for the steam, uh, clean room controller block itself, it's also a similar story. So, yeah, make with assembler, guys. And the rest. Let's place our 
magical blocks. And not, they are not magical, they are fully uh, industrial. But industry is magic. This is our door access, but we are not going to use the door much. But we are still gonna make one. And it's actually much more cheaper way of making uh, machine holes. And why we make machine holes? Well, it's simple. We are placing here. I'm here. Yeah. That's it. And also, we're gonna need this guy and this guy. You come here, and you come here. Voila! And I'm gonna need a light source, actually. Yeah, that. The elevator block works. Yeah, we're gonna access here with elevator block. Okay, we're gonna need one 4 amp medium voltage and one 4 amp high voltage actually i can use i can use one 4 amp high voltage and just transform the power because at the end i'm going to use all po high po voltage power okay we are back and i have an advanced gas turbine which will feed into a advanced uh, and medium voltage uh, energy hatch, an energy uh, battery buffer, and turbo gas turbine, which will feed into this guy. And yeah, now what we just need to do is. Feeding from here to here. And the other thing is, and you are starting to provide fuel. Thank you. And you will get eventually, yeah. And it will feed. So, yeah, we have power. Unlimited power. And now let's complete. Incom okay, has problems. Has problems is good. Actually, not good. Especially on this uh, multi block. And now, yeah, it's running fine, fine, 100% efficiency. And clean room is running. Okay, in progress. And we are waiting for it to be fully stabilized. Okay. Uh, we are. We just need to be uh, wait for the efficiency to completely be uh, full, and in the meantime, it will just. Pro By the way, you can put low voltage too, but I put medium voltage energy hatch to make it a bit faster. I I could make a high voltage one, but no, 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 no. I didn't want to. Anyway. The clean room is ready, and we need to place our first machine into the clean room. Let's put you here for now. Uh, what we're gonna need is a few more machines. Actually, one of them is here. Advanced cutting machine. Game character you could stay there, and I'm gonna need... Ah, I already have one. Thank you. And we will put the second machine here. The advanced cutting machine. Yeah, that uh, let's put here and get this and make the transformer here. Anyway. And for ele electricity for wiring we're gonna make something interesting we have this guy blue alloy 
wire and I need three eggs. Oh, not four eggs actually. I need two eggs. And good thing about blue alloy wire is let me just convert it. Uh, as you can see, 1x uh, gold wire can carry 3 amp. Yes, that's good. But it has 2 EU loss per uh, meter. This guy in normal one uh, carries 2 amp, which is still good, but not as good as this, but has a lower uh, loss. So. This is what we are going to use for our application. And this is going to be the first time we are going to use this wire cutter. Voila. Yes, this guy is ready. And let's place the lubricant. And we are going to need a transformer. Also, you're, you're go going to wonder why we have these guys here. The low voltage machine holes. That's actually quite simple. Uh, as you can see, the low voltage machine holes, uh, actually any machine hole in this machine device, is a way of uh, communicating with outside. It can carry fluids, it can carry items. So, it will be our automation route. And, uh, what's the fish current efficiency? 37. It's actually... And as you can see, it's... The EU usage dropped down. Uh, it's... I think it will drop down even more, but... It... Yeah. EU usage is actually quite low. It just needs to be the correct voltage, so... Yeah. Also, I will start moving away from uh, centralized power management to more, uh, actually, localized power management to more central approach. Eventually, uh, this area probably going to be the power generation area, but it's still early for that, and I'll just do the thing. And I need to go from this side because I didn't pl place the pressure plates yet. Okay. We're not connected to anywhere. So. And. Uh, sorry, the wrong type of thing. High voltage to medium voltage. So if I connect you, there is no kaboom. Thank you. And yeah. With that, this guy should be ready. And we are just waiting for the efficiency to go up. And in the meantime, we're going to need a few more machines, actually. And also, we're going to need something like this. The hover alarm. So let me just... Scanning and scanning. Okay. Now, also... Let's get this guy too. And we're gonna do something interesting. Okay. And let's make it normal and... Yes, it's working. Normal. Okay. Uh, why we did this? Because we want to get warned whenever it's uh, it has any problems. And why is that? Because it has a chance to void its recipe when it has problems. Okay. Now, phosphorus dropped mo a monocrystalline silicone ball is actually this. And yeah. And why I made it? It also requires clean room and high voltage. Actually, no, high, not high voltage. It just needs clean room. With that, we have this guy. And this guy can turn into more thingy-majiggies. For example, if you remember, uh, not, let's show SOC wafer. Random access memory chip. Okay. If we use normal wafer, we get one to one. If we use this guy, we get 
One to four. Yes, we are in a much better position for that. And let's place this guy here. Okay. Now we need lances. And well, okay, more memory chip paper, Nand's memory chip paper. You're gonna require Android Lance, Android Lance, Android Lance. Okay, you're gonna need Android Lance. I get that part. Android plates. You're gonna require nine Android. Which I have seven, actually. Okay, our lenses are ready. And let me just get here. And first, uh, these guys. But the other quest, this one, doesn't require what. But it requires clean room. So I'm going to use the old wafers, which I have plenty for these ones for a while. After that, I will move to phosphorus dropped wafer. And then I will cut everything according to that. And why we made this quest line? Because I want to make cheaper and cheaper and cheaper circuits. And uh, the recipes are longer, longer and longer. I'm glad I made high voltage uh, devices for that. Also, we are going to use conduits from this wall to get here and here. And they will be our auto-crafting routes. Uh, it's going to be a strange design. It will work. It will work. I tested on the creative world, my creative test world, and it worked. And I forgot to scan this guy. Oh, okay, I cannot scan this. I... I sometimes can scan and sometimes cannot scan things. Uh, so it's a strange thing. A uh, good, it gives 32 NAND memory chip. And with NAND memory, we can make low. Okay. Memory chip. Uh, circuit assembler. Uh, okay, we can make the data sticks. And memory. So we can to open computers a bit but it's still early for open computers i love open computers but they are currently a bit out of my budget and also this and we after we cut that we will qu complete two quests at the same time more memory Okay, no memory, you're required for ZPM, well, we, IV, yeah, and EV. Okay, they are going to be mo much more useful. So let me just look at circuit assembler. Yeah. And this guy. Let's claim everything now. And after that... Okay, cool. this guy, and for this, I will do something interesting. I will manually, for now, do pol poly blah blah, molten poly when real uh, pro pro process. It's actually easy, but it will require a bit of work on my side. I will just batchcraft some. And then, after that, uh, we will start automating it. Because uh, we will redesign our entire process a bit. And these guys are going to continue to work. Okay. And with that, we, we make... We actually make a lot cheaper. Uh, microprocessors are extremely cheap. And integrated processors are also cheap. Cheaper. But, yeah, they do not require another uh, circuit, so all those uh, low-voltage circuits are now just so low-voltage circuits. Nothing else. And, also, let me just get these quests to claim. 
Oh, okay, we also get an extra note block too. And also this quest. Thank you. And let's put those guys here for now. And then we will get and we will open our loot bags. Medium voltage. Other medium voltage. Yeah, it's nothing. Okay, that's better. That's actually quite nice. Empty canister. That's actually useful. To be honest, to be honest, yeah. Diodes and bread, and crop harvester. Not that useful. Okay. Now this episode we made our clean room and let just finish here. Later episodes we're gonna automate this clean room. I will need to craft at least two more. Uh, Precision engraver. Just one. This guy is enough. And one circuit assembler is enough-ish right now. So yeah. And so, do we going to need assembler? Ah, oh, and the circuit assembler is going to be needed, but the assembler, I don't think so. So. A uh, small coil. Wait, we already have small coil. Why you... Uh, okay. Anyway. And with that, we also have uh, a better high voltage uh, circuit too. So. Ah. At the end, this is Shifty, Shifty, and have a nice day.